So here we're comparing sales in Portland to sales in Seattle. And there's more sales in Seattle than there are in Portland. And we want to know different ways to compare those uh, values. So we're gonna do part A first. Seattle sales were blank larger than Portland's. Uh, this, I covered it up, but there's percentage right here. So you want to think, uh, anytime you're doing a percentage, you have some original amounts always gonna be on the bottom and some uh, amount to compare. will be on the top. So in part A, Seattle sales were blank larger than Portland's. So I want to know the amount larger. So how much larger? That's gonna be the amount we wanna compare. That'll go on top. So how much larger? We're gonna to need to do some subtraction. So the Seattle minus Portland, 255, I don't think I'm missing a zero. Oh no, zero, subtract, zero, 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 steal a one, it turns you to a seven. No, I just confused myself, oh, subtraction. All right, 80 minus 55 is 25. There we go, three minus two is one. Okay, hopefully that'll be right. Amount to compare. This is the difference, the amount more. Uh, the original amount is, so this is the original. That's the one we're comparing to. And that was two, five, five, zero, zero, zero. And we will need to use calculator for this for sure. Divided by equals 49.01. You may need to keep more decimals here. Uh, so we'll go and cover the first. Uh, that's the answer we got. We just rounded it quite a bit and probably too much. Uh, we're gonna go for part B now. This is all part A. Make sure you label your work. Part B, Portland sales were blank smaller than. So we need to know how much smaller. Okay, uh, good news is we've already done that work. Just taking that number from right above there. So now we're comparing it to Seattle. So in this case, the original is here in Seattle. We're comparing how much smaller something else is to Seattle. Original on the denominator, amount to compare. And of course the amount to compare is how much smaller. Uh, so we said 125,000 zero, 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 divided by the original, which was the 380,000. Zero, 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 zero. And do this division divided by 380 equals 32. Point uh, I'm turning this into a percentage, so I'm going to go ahead and already move the decimal over. So this is 32 point something, 8.9. And we're doing it as a percent. And so it should be part B. If it'll let me erase. There we go. All right, we're going for part C now. So there, I'm assuming there's a percentage sign that's covered up by, by black redacted line. So part C is a little bit different. It's not asking how much bigger or smaller. So that part is missing down here. It's just comparing two values. So Portland's sales were blank of Seattle. So the original is Seattle. 
what we don't have, I'll put it in a box, what we don't have is the uh, amount to compare to written like this, but this one's a bit strange. The amount to compare to is Portland sales. And original, so the original is the Seattle sales. And now the amount to compare is the Portland sales. And we'll do this. You can see that they're smaller, probably something like two thirds, but we'll see that actual value. And two, five, divided by three, eight, equals 67.10. And that's percent, and we'll uncover the last. There we go. All right, so these are a little bit different, uh, but hopefully this explains the difference between them. Um, and just remember the, uh, when it asks larger or smaller, that's gonna be the difference between the two values uh, as a percentage compared to, and you have to figure out which one is the original each time.